Hello and welcome to Lesson Scylla. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error. Now, when you get this error in your Outlook, this usually means that your Outlook data file has reached its maximum size. By default, your Outlook data file can reach up to a maximum of 50 GB. So if you've got uses with particularly large mailboxes, you can get this error message. Now, when you get this error message, you will not be able to receive any new emails. You will not be able to send any new emails. So um, you pretty much won't be able to use Outlook until you fix this issue. So let's go ahead and find out how you can fix this error that you're seeing on the screen. All right, so I'm gonna open up my virtual machine. Now, let me minimize this. Um, what I'm gonna show you is how to fix this issue by adding two registry edit keys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the two registry keys that you're seeing on the screen. Now, in this example, I'm going to increase my maximum size for my Outlook data file from 50 gigs to 100 gigs. And the warning message limitation, the default value is 47.5 GB, and I'm gonna increase that to 95 GB. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to do that. Open your um, registry editor in administrator mode and go into this location. I'll put this location in the YouTube description box below so you guys can refer to that. Uh, basically what we have to do is create a new folder. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new key first of all and I'm going to name it as PST. And what I'm going to do within that folder, so that has come under Outlook. So if I expand Outlook, you will see the PST um, key or the folder that we just created. So in here, I'm going to create a new DVD 32-bit value. And in here, I'm going to put these values, max file size. Just going to rename this now to max file size. Okay, double click on the key and change the base to decimal and add the value. So we're going to enter 100 GB in megabytes. So this is the value that we're going to copy paste in that registry key. Okay, all done. And let's create the second key. Same D word, 32 bit value. And we're going to copy this. This is for the warning. Change the base to decimal and add the MB value in the key. Okay, so this is all you have to do. So once you add uh, the folder PST and these two keys within that PST folder, you're done. And now go ahead and close registry editor and you can restart your Outlook. Now, I don't have a live scenario to show you how um, it will start syncing emails, but once you close the register editor after making those changes and restart your Outlook, your emails should start coming. Now, if your emails don't come after a restart of Outlook program, it may be possible that your Outlook data file is corrupted. So what you can do is as a final step, you can go into your file, account settings, data files, Select the Outlook data file and open the file location. This will take you to the actual location where your Outlook data file is located. What you can do is delete your Outlook data file.
and this should delete your data file from your local machine. This is not going to have any impact on your Office 365 online account, your mailbox. That is where your actual emails are located. Every time you add an Outlook account to a client computer and to Outlook client, what it does is it pulls a copy of that and stores a local copy in your local computer. So in here, what we're doing is we're deleting the locally saved Outlook data file. Once the, okay, I'm getting an error because I've got Outlook open. So let me just close Outlook and try again. And there we go. So the Outlook data file has been deleted from the local machine. And if I were to go into Outlook and open Outlook again, Outlook will start pulling out a brand new copy um, to my local computer. And that's it. It will take some time depending on the size of your mailbox. My mailbox is quite small. And as you can see, it started syncing all the new emails. Uh, I hope you learned something new from this video. I went through it pretty quickly, but I hope it was clear. If um, you've got any questions regarding this fix, please leave a comment in the YouTube description, uh, in the YouTube uh, below, and I will respond to that. Um, if you learned something new, please give it a thumbs up. Please share with your friends and please consider subscribing. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.